ChristineKidFest.com. I am here with your May 2019 Love Edition Love Scopes. Okay, y'all. Um, <sighs> the jury is out. Okay. It feels like there is something that is coming up or something you've been worried about that you can't quite put your finger on, but it seems like it's going to be an issue somehow. I mean, mm, somebody might tell you something that you kind of know. Let me just say, some of y'all, or maybe this happened to you, some of y'all been making something hard for somebody. It seems like there's some kind of uh, decision that somebody's making about how shit is hard for them or um what's the word i want to say i don't know how i want to say this um okay so they've been trying to put off a decision they've been thinking about this for a long time and it seems like there's going to be some kind of decision made concerning something that is life-changing and what's the word I want to use transformative same fucking thing okay so um <laughs> mm, maybe one of y'all have not has not been given the other one the complete cooperation that they feel they deserve I mean like I said you you or somebody making it hard for you or you make it hard for somebody there may have been some words said um that was said either recently or before that's like coming back on your ass or somebody's ass I don't know whatever do what you gotta do and um mm, did I hear uh somebody say turn this house into a happy home but it feels like some okay so somebody may try to fix something but it seems like it's too little too late i mean mm. so another person may decide they want to either move on or try to get something straightened out it seems like one of y'all is not happy here okay one of y'all ain't happy here i just feel like somebody got the hard shit has been hard for them okay somewhat I don't know if they tell you this they may have said something but it seems like really just like okay so the time comes when somebody get tired of telling you what the fucking problem is okay you ever just tell somebody over and over like stop doing this you know and it's just like fall on deaf ears and shit so whoever it is maybe feeling like um I've said this shit enough I'm not saying no fucking more. You know, you get to a point where you try to say the same shit over and over to a motherfucker and it's just time to make a move, you know. Now, whether that move is out the door, to the side, or uh, somewhere else, or my mama house, one of, one of the things going to happen, I feel like somebody may be walking away from somebody because of the shit they pile on somebody's head. This person is weary, they tired, they done been through enough. And I don't see it getting better for them. I mean, maybe this is you. I mean, maybe you tired of somebody, you know. And I think this person has come to the realization that they're tired of the bullshit. And they're ready for some damn reprieve now. They want some fucking relief from what the hell has been going on. And I think that you may, you or somebody may retreat from this. Oh, okay. So what I see is somebody coming home and... Seeing the other person either pack their bags and they like, you know, it need to be time out. I just see somebody packing their bags. I mean, this person walks in and the other person's sitting there waiting on them like, I'm about to leave. You know, it's like they knew this person was coming. They weren't trying to sneak about it at all. It's just like, I gotta go, you know. And somebody's gonna try to talk to that person and the person that's you know, packing this shit is like, I don't want, I don't feel like talking right now. I don't want to do it. You know, maybe later. It just feels like they feel like they've said enough and it's been enough words and enough ignoring for whoever to be waiting for an answer. 
and it feels like this person that's been fucking up so much may be feeling like, okay, I'm ready to talk now. You know, I'm ready to say whatever. What can I do? What can I do to make this right and shit? And it's just like, I don't want to hear it, you know? I think this person is so motherfucking fed up with what the hell they've been going through. Because I feel like this person is just like taken for granted. Like, you know how some people will mistreat motherfuckers because they know they can, because they don't have nobody who asshole. So they just mistreat your ass and mistreat you and mistreat you because they think you gonna always take it because you always have. And time up for that shit, it's over. I mean, it's decision time. Ain't no crunch time. This shit is DEFCON 5. This shit's happening right now. And the realization is gonna come down on them like, oh my God, I'm about to lose this person. And it's too late, bitch. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. Somebody about to call it quits. Now, I don't know if this is going to happen in May. It might. But it seems like it's going to happen. And this other person that's going to walk away from this, they're going to remember all the shit that's been happening. I don't think they're going to get so much encouragement. Maybe they get encouragement from their family. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Or their friends, whatever. And you got to find your happiness and shit. You can't just keep getting browbeat by this motherfucker, you know. So, damn, where is these readings coming from? <laughs> but, uh, it's too little too late on somebody's ass, okay. I mean, you can love a motherfucker all damn day. But, you come to the point where it got to be some kind of camaraderie here between us you know it can't be we constantly at each other's th nah fuck that i'd be i'd be damn if i do all this acts i mean i just feel like one person is not i'm not gonna say docile but i'm gonna say is a gentle person and the other person is just like we're gonna do it my way and this gonna happen that gonna happen what the fuck you doing where you been who you talking to let me you know just like drilling them up or constantly drilling them and it's not that they doing something or not doing something it's just like they're keeping they started keeping shit to themselves because of the they don't feel like they can talk to whoever they with and i don't think it's going to change you know i think this person will always be i mean maybe they super possessive or something shitty it's just like I'm your mama. I miss mama, bitch. Okay, you know, like they just have this entitlement to the other person's being there. Like you always gonna be here. Shut the fuck up. You know, just dogging the motherfucker. Like they a kid and shit, and they supposed to be there. This is my man. This is my woman, and you always gonna be here. You to death for this part, bitch, and you ain't gonna do shit. You gonna sit your ass right here and put up with all I got to put up with. I mean, all I'm gonna give you. Nah, fuck that. I mean, it's on you. I mean, some of y'all may be observing this, but I think some, to some, most degrees that this will be somebody's situation. Either way, Virgo, either this has happened to you or you doing the shit. Which I don't, I mean, I don't know, maybe a Virgo on some bullshit like that. I don't know, but um, if you are, I... I don't know if you can catch the ball. I mean, I think I, hey, do what you gotta do. But I think that's all I have for Virgo and much love to y'all. See you soon, bye.